please do not speak, do not whisper, do not make any noises during this lecture. As you can see, class, I am a nurse, but I'm not just any ordinary nurse. I'm a nurse from the time of the Civil War, a nurse who witnessed the evolution of transportation for the wounded soldiers of a terrible, bloody war. There were many ways of transportation during this giant battle. Over this long period of time, people used things like hand litters, horse litters, and even cacolets. There was even one person who was carried out of battle while sitting on the clasped hands of his fellow soldiers, which is shown above. Many versions of transportation devices were made and used during the battle, and thousands of people were carried out of battle while on these. Thousands of hand litters or stretchers were used during the time of the Civil War. The stretcher that was used at the beginning of the war was called a satterly. The satterly was soon replaced by the Halstead litter. This litter was favored because of its neater pattern and its lightness. A stretcher called the Sanitary Commission litter was also available, but only a few were ordered because it was too easily damaged for actual battle. The letters that the Confederacy had used were simple in terms of the design and structure. Somewhere during the time of the Civil War, an assistant surgeon named Henry Shell invented a type of stretcher. It was still a litter, but, he, but the special part about this one was that it would turn into a cot if you, bend, if you bended the handles of the litter. Finally, a new kind of litter with wheels was made in the last year of the war. It was called a hand litter carriage because of the structure and the shape, which you could compare to a baby's carriage. Horses and mules were also used to remove wounded soldiers from the battlefield. They were used to carry litters and cacolets. A litter, as you all know by now, is a stretcher, but a cacolet is, par is a pair of seats or litters that are mounted on a horse or a mule's back. Some of these transportation devices were actually inspired by the nails on the litters and cacolets of Crimea, which were taken by men named Delafield and McClellan. In November of 1861, a man named Mr. Kohler attempted to build these litters. Hundreds of them were sold in July of 1862. Charles Pro also designed a cacolet and stretcher in April 1862. It was said that he had actually improved a French design by making it lighter and cheaper to make. Many people over the long years of the Civil War tried to improve and make cacolets and litters. So many stretchers, horse litters, and cacolets were used over the years of war because of the number of people getting hurt. These help, pe these help people get out of battle quickly enough to get medical care though some refused to help. The transportation tools helped both the wounded soldiers and the people getting them out of battle.